Athens is in a beautiful place. We appreciate you joining us there, Fitz. And now it's a little something, something called Holy Cow. We are a family program here on the College Football Show. So we avoid curse words, Bobby. We don't like to say holy bleep. We just say holy cow. It's all the plays. I heard Trevor Mass just say mind freak. Maybe. Yeah. That <laughs> Coming out of his mouth, it was unbelievable, though. It's very, that was very off brand for Trevor Mattis, but I'm a fan of it. <laughs> First play for Holy Cow is something that is just something it'll make you shake your head at the same time. Uh, oh, yeah. This is the Ole Miss attempt at an upset. I think in this situation for me, you got to have two plays called, right? We talked about this here, Bobby. You got a running clock. You know you don't have any touch there. You don't have any uh, time maps, excuse me. So third and three, pass complete, but it was short. You got to call a play. You have to have something ready to go. You try the QB sneak, it gets absolutely thwarted, and then that's ball game. So, like, you set yourself up in that fashion, and it's certainly not built for success. I'm not entirely sure what we're doing on the sideline if we're anybody from the whole Ole Miss coaching staff. Like, I don't know how we go out there so ill-prepared. No, you got to make sure you have that second play, and you're down. You can't spike it. Because it's fourth down, Trevor. That's the biggest problem. That's one of the main issues that they had right there. No doubt about that. So a chance in an upset, they don't get it. Uh, and so for my score, we offer, we offer scores here on Holy Cow. 50. It's just bad. Ooh. Failing great. If I could go to zero, I would. If I could just get that <laughs> zero moves, I would have. We like to be nice around here, evidently. Uh, next play. Bobby Mahanda Reigns. All right, yeah. So we're going to go to Army hurdling a defender Oh, for a first down. Army running back Connor Slopka hurdles a Morgan State defender, picks up a first down Ooh. for Army. As you watch in there, over the top. I mean, are we closing our eyes right here? <laughs> what, what, what exactly? I what? always do you wonder see, that. You see all the cadets, they're fired up. Look, he's running, he's running, he's running. Oh, over the top. Phenomenal. Bobby, but I, what are we doing? I, I honestly have wondered that. When you get hurdle, is it just as simple as you close your eyes and you just didn't want to see what you were hitting before you, you kind of went in there? See him, he's bracing for <laughs> contact and he whoosh, air, nothing. With it and nothing, but there's gotta be a terrible nothing, that, that, That's gotta be a terrible uh, feeling. Just gotta go it. back with the cadets. Score on this. <laughs> Ooh, what am I thinking here? I'm gonna give it a 74. 74. That's, I mean, that's higher than I thought it was. Are you dinging the defender? Is that taken away from the amount of moves yeah, that we're I mean, giving Yeah, the defender, you got to throw a little shade at him. That's fair. No, that's more than fair. Okay, so now, next play. I was so incredibly excited the moment this happened when we were watching this game. LSU and Vanderbilt. Shout out to the big old lineman. Uh, the guard here, left guard. Ooh. Oh. So he gets one. <laughs> but wait a minute. <laughs> more? Yes. Adrian oh. McGee gets two. Two okay. catches absolutely two bodies on one play. Has the nerve to celebrate after the first, but he's still gonna go find some work and get a next man. I love every last bit of this. Like, I love that Joe Burrow got hit, had his school record day. That's all good and well. Shout out to him. But that left guard by the name of, because I don't want to make I want to make sure I do not mess this up. Adrian McGee. Shout out to you. You earned my first double move of the season. That is a hundred. That is 100 as far as the rating goes for this holy cow. Google me. Yes. Google me. That's what he's yelling at you. Good Lord. I love every last bit oh, of that. Oh, man. That was you perfect. should. Two pancakes or more. That's like an infomercial. But wait, there's more. <laughs> I'm going to finish up with a terrible Rutgers interception. Oh, uh, yeah. Pass intercepted by Mike Palmer. Turf for no game. Tries to pull the Derek Jeter jump. <laughs> The not jump getting turn? it done. That, a jump toss. <laughs> that's not a thing in football. Usually when you see it, it's only ending one way. What do you think you're doing? You're not turning two might right here, my man. We're, turning, we're not even looking. We're not even looking. We're throwing that thing up in the air. Just that's a hope and a prayer. This is absolutely chucking up. And what's amazing, Rutgers actually had a lead at one point in this game. Like get a chance to beat Boston College, a power five non-conference opponent. And then you start throwing that stuff out there. My goodness, Chris has got to go crazy. I, I'm going to give this, I'm going to give this thing on the holy cow meter, and 83. 83. 83. Is Let's it just because you're there. mystified at how bad that was? It's just all kinds of awful. Because the no look pass for the quarterback only works <laughs> if you're Pat Mahomes. That's a perfect. It point. only works for him. Nobody else does it work for. That's him. exactly right.